In this video, I will show you how to read a CSV file from GitHub and save it on your disk. Let's import pandas as pd. Let's go to my GitHub page. This is my GitHub page and we will go to this folder dataset. This folder contains several datasets such as gapfinder.csv, iris.csv, titanic.csv. We are going to read this file gapminder.csv. Let's click on this. Once you come on this page, you will see the data is available here. And to read this data, you have to click here on raw. Once you click here, this page will come. And now you have to copy this link. Once you copy this link, go to the Jupyter Notebook. I'll make one variable df. And from pandas, I will use the method read underscore csv because this is a csv file. And in single course or double course, we have to pass our link which we have just copied. So I'm going to paste the link in double course. Now press enter. We have successfully read our csv file and store in the variable df. Let's look at the top five rows of our data frame df. We will type df.head. In the output, you can see that we have successfully read our CSV file. This CSV file contains six columns, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's look at the bottom five rows. We will type df.tail. Using method tail, we can look at the bottom five rows. In the output, you can see that these are the bottom five rows. Now we are going to save this CSV file in our disk. I'll go to a folder. So this is my folder and here you will see that the file name gapminder is not available here because that file is not available here. Now I am going to this Jupyter Notebook. I am going to save this data frame df with the name gapminder.csv. And to do that, I will type df dot two underscore csv. So this is the method two underscore csv to write a csv file on your disk. And inside this, we have to give our name to our csv file in single course or double course. I am going to name this csv file gapminder dot csv. Now let's run this code. Now let's go to the same folder and check whether this file has been created or not. Now you can see that in the folder gapminder.csv is available here. So we have successfully imported the CSV file on our disk. Let's open this file to verify. Here you can see that we have successfully return the csv file on our disk and it is saved in our location so this is how you can write a csv file on your disk first you need to go to the github page from there you first of all you have to read the csv file once you read the csv file you have to store in a data frame or in a variable so i have saved it in a variable df and once you save it in a variable then you can Use the method to underscore CSV to write that CSV file on your disk. This video was about how to write a CSV file on your disk after reading from GitHub. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.